off the mark and Lutz grabs a rebound. Three on the other end, and this guy can fill it up. Benjamin Christie, his team leading 25th three of the season. Spoke to Car Coach Cunningham this morning. I mean, this is something that he wants to do. He wants to be able to spread the Purdue defense out, make shots. There's a guy making a shot, Jaden Ivey attacking the basket. 22 points in that game against Butler. That's six of six three-point shooting for Ivey. Tied Dakota Mathias as there's a loose ball. And here's Ivey for two more. Sasha Stefanovic really wreaking havoc and leading Purdue to some early momentum here after getting down 6-0. Great pass by Williams at first, ties us at six. And his team tied here early. Step back three, Morgan, that's their leading score on the season, but off the mark there. Jay Nivey stop it, pop, yes. He rebounds so well from the guard position. Shot fake, Gillis, Hunter, thought about it, he will take it. There's Edie again, six offensive rebounds for Purdue, another bucket and a foul for Edie. Yeah, you're right, Ray Fell. He really filled it up at Mount Olive, which is a Division II school, and now transferring up to Incarnate Word and having a good game tonight. Open three, there's the answer from Mason Gillis. Over the top, Hunter, nice feed to Williams. Travion Williams with a strong rebound, and Purdue has a numbers advantage here. Ivy spinning, no. Gillis missed it. Williams padding the rebounding stats. Give him two more. You got to keep the ball out of middle. Got to force some baseline to your help. When you get, when you let a guy go middle, it's no help. Well, you can't let Travion Williams go baseline. He throws it down. We've got a fantastic crew led by Glenn Hallis, a producer, Billy Proctor, our director, and everybody else doing a wonderful job here providing you the sights and sounds. Josh Morgan, mid-range jumper, drops down. His jersey coming untucked in the first half. I have that unofficial <laughs> stat mark. Thompson got his own miss. Here is the untucked jersey. Williams bucket and a foul. Tucked, untucked, it doesn't matter. Back on the floor here to start the second half with Purdue enjoying an 18-point lead. Stefanovic going up top, and an easy lay-in for number 50. Ivy through the defender, somehow flipped it off. Ivy on the baseline, finding Thompson, right on cue. Purdue is plus 11 on the offensive glass, by the way. Here's Lutz, the Indiana native, with a great pass inside to Gristy. Great pass from Lutz, but great cut by Gristy. He actually started his college career at Oregon State and broke Gary Payton's freshman scoring record there before transferring to Purdue for his last three years of eligibility as he puts it up and in, and he gets fouled. Averaging over three a game, that's something else at number 23 for Purdue has really improved this season, distributing the ball. Nice little move to the basket there and the finish with a left hand for Hughes. And one of the loudest venues. They get it rolling. Maybe, wow, that'll get it rolling. The most explosive guard in the country. They forced just seven turnovers for Incarnate Word. Still the lead is 20 here. Ivy, great pass. And off the window for Mason Gillis. Ethan Morton, another one of them. Gillis powers it up, no. Tap back, of course, Zach Eady. Travion Williams dancing over there in the Purdue bench as now they've expanded the lead to 30. The answer for Brandon Swaby. Mentioned that he's from Canada. He grew up playing hockey and baseball, believe it or not. Even when he was well over 6'6", he loved those sports. As Lutz gets the offensive rebound, kicks it up top, and that one is short by Morgan. Another board for Lutz. Swaby, yes, and Lutz coming back to Indiana now has nine assists. Yeah, so you got Conzo's son out there. You also have 
Carson Barrett, his dad Dave played at Purdue. Missed dunk, but a put back there for Johnny Hughes. And then Ray Fell, this is kind of the performance that we expected, and Purdue got the job done. And they got the job done on both ends. They dominated the paint, they dominated the glass, but then again, they made shots tonight.